there's a lot to cover today. Everything from Bitcoin SV being delisted to Trump announcing more QE, never hearing about WikiLeaks, to Notre Dame burning down, and so much more. Stay tuned for more. Wow, man. Fucking crazy. Can you believe that shit's burning down, man? Don't worry, bro. I'm never gonna get you. I'm never gonna hurt you again, man. Don't worry. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome back. He's just uh, not a big fan of uh, Craig Wright. We were just talking about the burning down of uh, that uh, Satoshi's vision. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, salty vagina, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, if you guys, uh, before I get started, welcome back and happy Taco Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, April 16th. 2019. Yeah, sorry, I had to think about it for a second there. <laughs> so, j just like you gathered from the very beginning of the episode today, um, we have a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss. There's a lot of news that happened, you know, not just this weekend, but yesterday and so on and so forth. Well, one of the first things I want to talk about is, you know, um, pretty much the elephant in the room. Let's just bring it up real quick. Why not? I mean, you know, the whole thing of uh, the, the salty vagina coin not being listed, not just on Binance, but on pretty much every exchange and they're getting rid of it. And, you know, let me just touch on this for one millisecond. This is why I love this space so much. Literally because even though we might have some bad actors within the space, these bad actors eventually weed themselves out. The whole system itself weeds them out. And so that's why this stuff is so great. Speaking of which, the IMF decided to launch their own blockchain. Yeah, I know this is kind of like old news, but I don't see why no one's really talking about this much either. But if you guys don't know who the IMF is, you know, those guys down at the International Monetary Fund, you're the ones that are trying to push Argentina to get rid of their peso and adopt the dollar. You know, the central bank of central banks, you know, those guys. Anyways, so they just came out and they recently said that they are creating their own test blockchain. It's not really a blockchain. It's just something that they're going to create to, to um, as, as an internal um, project so that people within their system can use it. The first thing I thought of it when I, when I saw it was like, okay, these guys are actually really far behind. In fact, they're so far behind that they're creating this thing in order to try to figure out what this blockchain stuff really is. They can't, they, they can't necessarily conceive how this thing is already tearing them apart. So they need to, again, deconstruct. Deconstruct and figure out what the hell is going on there. So, you know, with that being said, again, the first thing that I heard, I mean, the first thing that I noticed or thought to myself when I heard that news and read it, actually read the news, you know, was more like, huh, I wonder how long until somebody hacks into their system and not just hacks into the system but puts it out there for the public, for the general public to take a gander at this thing. So yeah, you know, that's what I think is going to happen with that. I mean, and, and, and again, you know, just the fact that they're, you know, trying to figure this stuff out and actually starting to take it seriously, not just attacking it but trying to deconstruct it and figure it out. So, uh, to me, this is something to watch. It's funny because in the Discord, when I kind of put, put this up in the news, um, in, in my Discord, um, people were that are XRP lovers, you know, were literally telling me that, oh, they're gonna use Ripple and XRP and, and this whole thing. And I'm like, how? How? What about this is letting you know that they're gonna be using that Ripple network and they're gonna be using XRP. They literally said that this is just a stepping stone so, for them so that they can learn, so they can create their own. I don't know, again, did I miss a memo? So, that's where that's at. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, which, you know, another crypto story. I was reading that Udemy, if you guys don't know who Udemy is, you know, they're like some online platform that provides online courses, free and paid. They're pretty good. No, they're not a sponsor to the show, but <laughs> shout out to if somebody works out there and they wanna, you know, uh, help me out. But anywho, Udemy, um, is launching uh, free Cardano classes, which I think is pretty great and a move in the right direction. And also a reminder to a lot of you guys out there that are floundering about between uh, 
you know, you guys, again, uh, if you guys watched yesterday's Monday, Motivational Monday show or whatever, um, let's just say that you're, you out, someone out there that was watching either yesterday or today are technically motivated and you guys, I don't know, have a really shit job at McDonald's or wherever it is, who cares? And you want to weigh out. Well, if you're anything within the tech space, if you're intrigued with the tech space, if you love the tech space, if you want to get involved with the tech space, the tech space all over the world is beyond growing. In fact, it's growing so much, all right, that they have like a gazillion more jobs available than people applying to these jobs. Okay, so look into it for all of you guys. This is just another okay another thing where these classes are now being offered for free and i wouldn't be surprised if you see other ones like eos and others you know um start providing things like this in order to get more people involved because right now there are classes available and there are um things available for people to learn and how to code this stuff and how to move it along but for the most part it, it's these paid courses and stuff like that and i don't know maybe there are free resources out there that i'm not aware of but this is a big step and, a, and an awesome step in the in the mass adoption movement in the learning movement and and so on and so forth okay um you know so to me that's great news and i hope to see more of that within the space and i hope that a lot of you guys out there take full advantage of this stuff because again why not in fact let me tell you a little bit of a story, but I was talking to a good friend of mine the other night and he was just telling me, oh yeah, I'm about to graduate, I'm about to you know, do this and that, but between the time after I graduate and by the time I set up the, you know, this job, this thing that he wants to set up you know, for, for income, he's like, oh, I, I kind of need a way to supplement my income. I need to make money, I need a job. And he's like, oh, but I don't want to go back to the workforce or this or that, especially after everything I've been through. And then I told him, well, why don't you just get a job for the blockchain? You know, for any one of these companies looking for coders or this or that, like a million things. And he's like, oh, shit, you're right. You know, software developers, you know, all kinds of jobs. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. Because, you know, he himself is a software developer, hardware developer, does a bunch of things like that. So he was just like, oh, wow, I didn't even, I did not even think of that. And bam, right off the bat. So, you know, he's going to hit me up as soon as school's over and within a few weeks or what have you. And uh, I'm going to just give him all these links to all of gazillion job openings out there within the space. And by the way, if you guys have any trouble looking for jobs out there, again, just do a quick Google search, you know, blockchain jobs, openings, whatever. You know, very simple. If you can't find anything out there, please, by all means, leave a comment below. Hit me up um, in the comments. Um, hit me up in the, you know, in Discord or any other avenue in which you guys already know I'm very available. Just um, hit me up and I'll try to help you guys out with that as well. But again, just do a quick Google search and there's tons of info out there. It's, it's, it's out there, all right? So I, I would highly suggest that you guys look into this for anyone that's really, really even just curious, okay? Anyone can do it. And again, even if you know computers from over 20 years ago and you haven't really touched computers in, in, in like this whole 20 year revolution, again, just knowing that base knowledge is gonna put you ahead of everybody else, ahead of the pack moving forward because most of the stuff that's going on now with um, all this coding and all this stuff, has it's, it's basically the same shit that we learned 20 years ago or 25 years ago. So just FYI out there for any old farts that you know think that they're too old to get involved again if you have any kind of coding experience even if it was 25 years ago it will serve you well here and you will probably be leading these young kids fyi all right that's how simple and awesome this blockchain technology is okay it's not over overly complicated in fact it's overly simplified okay now the next thing we're going to talk about <clears throat> i want to talk about notre dame burning down i thought that was pretty crazy a good friend of mine out there, a good friend of the, the whole group, Spencer, you know, he's the one that uh, gave out the news uh, on Discord yesterday and was like literally alerting everybody of what was going on with Notre Dame as it was happening. And then, of course, as the day was going on, we were we ourselves were tracking it and watching it. And it was pretty crazy, pretty crazy seeing that that tall spire thing, you know, um, come crumbling down and the whole thing coming down. I don't know where this is going to end, but as far as the recording of this episode since i've been recording this um it's still blazing hardcore and it's pretty pretty crazy because to me it was more like um i don't know man i don't think that that was an accident and i don't think that that was um uh, you know coincidence or anything like that i think you know something could be up there you know what i mean why is is that church has been around for a million you know 
God knows how long, what, 500, 600, 700, 800 years, 1,000 years, I don't know, many years, and all of a sudden it just burns down like that? I don't know, you know, to me, I feel like there's something going on there. Why are they burning it down? You know, all that conspiracy, doo -doo -doo -doo, x files shit, you know, um, that's all the stuff that I started thinking about as soon as I saw that burning, honestly, you know what I mean? So, that's interesting. You know, there's a lot of interesting things within that world that are happening, which I'm not going to talk about here for obvious reasons. But for the most part, you know, that that world is falling. That that um, that religious uh, world is falling. And um, yeah, it's interesting to see whether it's things that are happening with the Pope, other parts of the church. Now Notre Dame is burning. What? <laughs> you know, a lot of things, you know. So keep we got to keep our eye on everything. Speaking of which, you know, next segue... Let's talk about Trump, the Trump, Trumpster. Well, guess what? He just announced more QE. Now, I know, I, I've been saying this for weeks, you know, he, he's been announcing QE, but again, he literally announced QE again. He literally said we should be purchasing bonds, okay, printing, he literally said this, literally, I mean, almost verbatim. We, we have to, uh, I can't do his voice. We have to print more money and we need to be buying our own bonds. I mean, you know how he talks, he, he kind of said it like that. But yeah, he was saying that and saying other things regarding that. And that he, oh, another thing he said was that he he honestly thinks, he knows in his deep, in his heart, um, that the Dow, uh, the stock market should at least, at the very least, be 10,000 more points up than it is today. Now, I haven't looked at the stock market in a while. I haven't looked at the Dow, Dow or anything like that in a while. In fact, I should have looked at it before I started recording. But... I'm sure it's in the low to mid 20s right now. Remember I was telling you guys 30, 30, you know, a little over 30 or close to 30 or 30, you know, 30 is that threshold before the whole thing comes down. Well, we might make a, that big ass bull run to 30 all the way through this year. Who knows? It might not even crash at the end of this year. It might not even crash to the end of next year, the end of 2020, after his election, after his re-election. Don't say I didn't tell you so, all right? But it seems like we're moving in that direction. So print away. Now, we could get to that 30 plus K by the end of the year. Don't get me wrong. And whether we correct or not, who knows? I mean, again, if we go to 30 plus K, let's say we go to 30, 34 K, 32 K, and then we come back down to 28 K, did we really crash? Did we, did we do anything? I mean, no, you know? So who knows? But just keep an eye on that. It's all about that money printing and they're gonna keep printing, printing, printing. and. Uh, it's only the beginning, guys. I know a lot of you guys think it's the end. It's, it's only the beginning of the end. How's that? We can agree on that. It's the beginning of the end. And as you guys know, dollar is king. And all these all, 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 other, all other currencies around the world are going to suffer. And, as, and again, as I've told you guys before, I really do think that the euro is going to topple and fall before the dollar actually does. So we got to see that, all right? We got to see a lot of things happen. A lot of things are going to happen. Um, there's a lot of things happening. Again, look at all the stories I just read off to you in a few seconds, a few minutes. You know, a lot of them that are pretty impactful and so many that I'm missing right now. But it's a lot of things happening. And it seems like every day that we wake up, there's even more things happening and more things happening. And even though yesterday's episode was talking about the weekend, I mean, talking about Monday through Friday and the weekend and shit like that, again, you know, we got to really keep our eyes on the ball on all this stuff. But at the same time, you know, just like Gregory Manorino has been saying since last week, you know, we, you know, it might also better suit us for us to back off a little bit. You get what I'm saying? And kind of like realize that, again, like as I was saying, and I say a lot of times, life is going on around us. We got to enjoy life. All right. We got to stop obsessing over this all this insanity stuff all right in fact let's talk a little bit more about insanity real quick i know it's, it's hard not to obsess because look I'll, I'll tell you i'll be frank with you guys real quick this weekend the hell was having a lot of fun with a friend of mine we had a great fucking time it was the best weekend i probably had in like the longest time ever and um still you know what i mean whenever conversations will come up i couldn't not not talk about all a lot of these things and then some and um, we were both interested, but at the same time, it's like, fuck, you know, we want to be talking about other things. But so I get it. You know, it's very difficult. And uh, that's what makes these times even more difficult, all these things that are going on. Now, segue to another difficult situation with what's happening with Julian Assange. Uh, again, you know, again, you know, where we already know what happened to him last week. And, you know, I was watching Saturday Night Live this weekend. And I wish I could show you a clip, but I can't. 
and um, I, I, you know, I was watching and they were, again, trying to make Julian Assange public enemy number one. And if you watch any mainstream media, they're making him public enemy number one. Just like I was saying before, they're, they, are, they are already blaming him for Russiagate. And it's now the Russiagate thing is only you know gaining more speed you know the, 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 the without Russia gate was over Russia gate is not over now Russia gate is morphed into now this guy so now this poor guy Julian Assange has been in exile for seven years only for being a journalist again what does that tell to every other journalist out there me included all of a sudden us journalists everyone out there you know now are the big targets on the back you know as long as Julian Assange is being targeted we're all being targeted so yeah, and now that we have know more details about that, literally Ecuador sold them. You know what I mean? Ecuador, you know, sold them. You know, that's it. There's, you know, dealings behind the closed doors of uh, all the billions of dollars that were transferred, uh, all the debt that was canceled, all the, you know, oil and other resources that were given all for one guy. So, again, what kind of world are we living in? I mean, think about it. You know, the, the empire gave billions of dollars billions of dollars you know and, and not just aid and resources and forgiving debt and so many other things billions of dollars that are coming out of all your pockets every single person out there listening to me um, is paying for this shit and again we spent bazillions of dollars okay we made a, a shady deal with Honduras which is now the exile of the rest of Latin America because of that and even the and even its own president is, is an exile within its own people but now you know Honduras did this and now all of a sudden um man I, I cannot believe I lost my train of thought for a second <laughs> one second yeah sorry I don't you just hate when that happens when you're just like mid-sentence you know talking about something and you just fucking lose you know track of what you were saying and brain fart so yeah I had one of those brain farts too many brain beans so anyways that's just like getting back to the whole Assange thing when I was talking about there again you know we're all under you know we're all targets now you know just because of what's happening and then again it's setting a precedent moving forward as to how all of us are going to be treated with you know just you know when we're talking about you know knowledge there's no more freedom of speech literally it's it's a crazy time and then when we go to mr trump and they asked him hey what do you think about assange and uh and what's happening there he's like i don't know anything about wikileaks i don't know anything um whoever the hell is taking care of it that's who's taking care of it and he's whatever he they do they do i can't i got no control over it that's how crazy everything's at and the fact that so many people out there are still supporting the trump you know supporting him and all these horrible things that he's doing um supporting the agenda supporting all of these entities you know all over the world you know not just trump but you know so many other world leaders and so on and so forth and you know for, for what's going on you know what i mean like have we lost our minds collectively is that really what's going on right now and um yeah so that's why you know you see me more focused on so many other things not just talking about you know negative things like this you know what i mean because there's just so much to swallow so much to take in and um it's kind of fucked up it really is you know the whole thing as soon as trump said that i mean first of all i've already lost faith in trump and I've, I've said this before a million times i voted for trump i've been a democrat my whole life and I actually voted for him i was gonna vote for bernie thank god i did it thank god that you know he did not whatever um i'm not a supporter of anyone at this point but again i only put trump in there just like a lot of people put trump in there in order for him to actually do something and what did he do absolutely jack shit. all he did was help his rich friends get richer help um the agenda help um the bankers get bankier you know richer and then and make us poorer and so on and so forth and again i'm not here defending hillary at all because i, I think hillary would have been 10 times worse but you know at this point you know it seems like trump and hillary are pretty much neck and neck and horribleness so like it really fucking matters anyway so the point is that this is not uh, you know not gonna end anytime soon you know um this thing has not even again whether it's the money printing or the insanity of what you know the president is doing you know like saying like i don't know anything about wikileaks going out after julian assange who knows it who's next you know i'm thinking ken.com i'm thinking a bunch of a bunch of other people out there and so on and so forth and it's uh it's pretty insane pretty crazy time to be alive and um we haven't seen anything yet we really haven't seen anything yet this this stuff's only going to start getting ramped up real soon like for reals you know that nipsey hustle guy you know um he you know look i've been looking at a bunch of things about him you know um, through my feeds instagram what have you and uh you know this guy was all about crypto this guy was woke as hell talking about a lot of things that i talk about on this channel and we talk about and we all are fully aware of so again you know um none, none of these things are 
by accident, none of these things are whatever. Notice that, you know, when I speak, I used to speak about Kanye a lot, I don't speak about him anymore. And it's funny because he used to be, again, one of these individuals that was on our side. And then all of a sudden now, well, seems like he doesn't have a target on his back anymore, but now he's fucking full blown crazy. I'll leave that one there. And so, you know, again, you know, we're, we're seeing this, sorry, I dropped something. So I'm, we're seeing this that, you know, we're seeing a lot of people even within the um, YouTube space and we're seeing people all over that there's a lot of people that were once one of us, you know, speakers of truth. And now all of a sudden they are joining a team, joining the bigger team. You feel me? You know, the deep state, the, the agenda, the paid shills, the... Um, and you know mainstream media what have you or they're doubling down you know what i mean like you'll see jimmy Dore. you know now he's like going harder you know someone like me someone there's a bunch of us out there you know plenty of us so it's it's you know it's again round two if anything all right and we have a lot of rounds to go we have a lot to go we have a lot of things all right still in our future most people are not even awake or have any idea what the hell's going on and uh it's gonna be an in in intense and insane transition i mean if if anything that's going on right now is any indication, I can't, I can't even imagine, you know, what's down the pike. But guess what, guys? I'm going to be here pretty much every single day, no matter what, talking to you guys about all this stuff and then some. And then also having, you know, fun episodes and doing all kinds of shit. Because again, guys, we got to live life. We got to enjoy life. We got to smile. We got to realize that our time on this earth is very limited and that we cannot feed into this beast you know they can't you know we can't let them control our brains and our souls and our thoughts and our everything we need to take control back and even if taking control back is turning this fucking thing off and going to the beach and leaving the phone in the car then so be it okay so we, got, we all got to figure it out okay guys let me see did i miss anything else i think that's it i think today's episode is long enough guys thank you guys so much for joining me today as always, I freaking love you. You guys are beyond amazing. I um, want to give um, a shout out to all you people out there, all of you guys, you know, that have been helping me out throughout this whole process, that have been, you know, through this with me, you know, um, the last couple of weeks and beyond and everything, everything from, you know, over the, over the whole year and a half I've been doing this and so on and so forth. I freaking love you guys. You guys are beyond amazing. And um, again, we haven't seen anything yet, all right? We still have a long ways to go. So please, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that bell like on all that good stuff. Leave comments below. And um, you already know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to stay awesome. Thanks. <laughs>